Army Football 2015 spring practice beginning this week. Rich DeMarco joined by the head coach of the Black Knights, Jeff Munkin. And Jeff, great to be with you here, start of spring practice, and it must feel good to get back on the football field with this team. Oh, we're excited to be to be starting spring ball. It's something that we always look forward to, and I'm sure every team around the country is looking forward to their start of spring ball. Uh, we're going to have a lot of new faces and uh, a lot we need to find out about this team. You've gotten started actually the past couple of weeks with some mat drills out at the Foley Center early in the morning. Tell me what's behind that. That's something that... Uh, the staffs that I've been a part of the last, oh, probably 18 or 19 years has done, uh, beginning with Coach Johnson uh, when I was an assistant for him back in 1997. And uh, it, it's just a, uh, a way to, to, to find out uh, how mentally tough we are. It, they aren't easy. Um, they're not impossible to get through, but it's challenging. It's physically demanding, and uh, that makes it very mentally taxing. Uh, and, and there are so many times during those mat drills, those early morning conditioning drills, that I know those guys who just love to quit and say, "Hey, I need a rest and, and take a knee." And and uh, but it's that it's that that will to go on and fight through and fight through the 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 fatigue and the hurt. And uh, and I think that develops mental toughness, which is important for uh, I think for for everyone, every organization, uh, certainly a football team. You mentioned being excited to see this team out on the field. Certain positions, certain spots, you're, you're looking forward to seeing the competition? Well, we've got some positions. Uh, corner, for example, Josh Jenkins and Chris Carnegie, both guys that I think had really good seasons last year that are coming back. Jeremy Timph and, and Andrew King at inside linebacker. Um, and certainly I think those are, those are positions that uh, we've got some guys that, that we're very confident in their ability. Uh, but there's other positions. We lost all three defensive linemen, both outside linebackers, both safeties, um, a couple of offensive linemen, our entire backfield. There's, there's going to be a lot of new faces out there that we're going to have to evaluate. And frankly, I don't know who's going to rise to the top and who's going to be the starter at some of those positions. So uh, that's going to make it a lot of fun. It, it, uh, it's, it's, it's a little unnerving to not know and to not have the kind of depth that we would like to have. Uh, but also exciting to see some of these young guys and new faces get an opportunity to battle for, for a starting position. When you came on board here at West Point and the challenge of rebuilding this program, from an overall talent standpoint, how much more talented are you now than maybe a year ago at this time? Uh, we might be less talented. Um, with the loss of 36 seniors, uh, guys like Larry Dixon, who've been 1,000-yard rushers, and uh, Terry Baggett, Ray Maples, uh, Angel Santiago, our quarterback, who had started uh, several games over the last few years. The defensive line, um, all, all three of those guys had played a lot of football. Joe Drummond, uh, Glover, uh, Mike Ugeni, the outside linebackers, uh, to lose a guy like Jeff Bacon. Uh, those are a lot of guys that, that have played a lot of football for us. And, uh, and I don't know that we were a, an overly talented team with those 36 seniors, uh, we, 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 aren't, we weren't this past year in 2014 a, a, what I would call an athletic or a really fast team. I thought our guys played hard, gave it everything they had. Um, but with the loss of those guys that have played, 13 of them were starters, 13 of 22. Uh, that tells you there's, there's going to be a drop off and we've got some guys that are going to have to step up. Jeff, you put a high priority on leadership and accountability. How has that progressed, evolved in your time to where we are today? I, I think that's something that uh, a lot of our guys have really tried to work on and, and, uh, and, and develop uh, those, those, those skills that they have. You know, we're at an institution where leadership is something that's talked about on a daily basis and something that we try to develop in every cadet here but like every organization there are some leaders who are stronger than others and some of those individuals find themselves in leadership positions and I think the majority of of our guys that were leading our team a year ago are are, are of that group of 36 seniors that are now gone and they are probably guys that have have been leaders have been vocal have been uh 
so well respected by their teammates that there hasn't been the sense of urgency to lead by some of these younger guys, some of the guys that are now in positions to lead and haven't had a chance to do that. So that's something that in the off season we've really tried to develop with with that core group of guys on our team that are that have been in the games and have played and and we really feel like have a sense of responsibility and understanding of of what it takes to to lead a championship team. So uh, that's not something that's easy and and leaders don't just automatically emerge, which uh, I think is maybe the expectation. Uh, sometimes they need to be developed and that's something we're doing in this off season as well. Spring practice starts on Thursday. Could you give us a couple of names of players maybe that fans didn't see a whole lot of on the field during the 2014 season but are going to have a great opportunity here in the spring to move up the depth chart? I think, guys, uh, at the the back positions, uh, there's going to be so many new faces. I don't know who it's going to be, um, if, it, if it'll be uh, Matt Jacinta or if it'll be Aaron Kemper, if it'll be Joe Walker, uh, John Trainer. You know, guys that, that haven't been in starting roles and played a lot of football, those guys are going to have to step up and, and make the plays. And they, they likely will be names that will start to emerge. Those guys that are carrying the football on offense, I'm certain, will, will be guys that will, uh, will show up. We move Xavier Moss to safety uh, to, to look at him in the spring. It's really at his request. And uh, in the spring, I think it's a great time to do that, to try guys at new positions. And he's an athletic guy. I don't know if that will be a fit for him or not. But, uh, but certainly we were open to, to allowing him a chance to, to, to try it. And we're going to look at him over there. He'll probably still play some offense and play some snaps at receiver, even if he ends up being a starting, a starting safety. Um, it, it, it's going to be interesting to see how that defensive line plays out. Uh, there are so many young, young guys in that group. Uh, T.J. Atamalala is is back. He'll be a senior. Uh, he played quite a bit for us last year in a backup role to Glover. Um, but beyond him, all of those guys are freshmen and sophomores right now, all new faces, and uh, and it'll be interesting to see who kind of slugs it out and ends up at the top at that position. So th- there's there's quite a few of those guys that – that are probably uh, not known names to our fans and people that follow us, but are, are going to end up in starting positions, and, and uh, you'll be calling their name out next September and October and November and, and, uh, and December and hopefully January. Absolutely. Look forward to that. Spring practice starts on Thursday. Jeff, best of luck. Thank you so much. That's a spring preview with Army head football coach Jeff Munkin. Spring practice starting on Thursday, March 12th, with the black and gold game coming up at Mikey Stadium on Saturday April 18th. For Night Vision, I'm Rich DeMarco.